Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. You help somebody that truly needs assistance. You made somebody's day just that much better. Just like being able to uh, leave people with the feeling that, you know, the police are good folks, you know, everyday people just like, just like they are. And that, you know, I'm just out here trying to perform a job, a task. I'm trying to catch up to uh, this white Dodge Durango that was out here in uh, Griffin North talking to my local uh, dope perpetrators out here. I'm going to see if we can stop it. There we go. 5 o'clock, 11.20 radio. Got one refusing to stop. Going to be... Uh, Eastbound on Proctor, headed towards James P. Browley, a white Durango 21 X ray Frank William. Got it over in the blood by uh, 755. Get units to head to 755. Going back over here to 755. Traffic violations, just traffic violations. Get some units to sit up over at uh, just before Stafford Street on ML King. He's still gonna be over here in the area. I hear him in the wood line. We got. Him. We got one of the other units over here on North Avenue. I think they just picked them up for me. So we'll get back around here and see if we can meet them. Get all the paperwork done and get everything squared away with the owner of the truck that he hit. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Go ahead and go far, far away, sir. Go ahead. Okay, well, Cassie, 26 on that 29 on Fox. Make sure you got no weapons on you, that's all. I'm very sure of that, sir. Well, I'm not saying, sir. I don't know. I'm not really. I haven't been in the just at 
in about two years, you know what I'm saying, fully. Never had any felony, any violent charge. It was just one little night. I was, I was kind of feeling, it was just a ride. She came through asking for some money on the sister, you know, nice, nice trip. Man. Yes, sir. I'm in the so the owner of the vehicle is still around here, you think? Right. So he's right there on pain. I'm right. sorry, is that how? Sorry about your vehicle, sir. Hmm. Had a guy. His vehicle's probably gonna come back stolen. But uh, you got your keys for your truck? You wanna see if you can uh, start it? Maybe pull it up a little bit. What we got here is trying to stop a guy at a regular traffic stop. He decided he didn't want to stop. Gave us a little chase. We caught him down here in a regular little dope hole where I first saw the vehicle that he tried to loop back around. I asked him, I asked him to put it up, see if we can get it out the way. He ran into the rear of <laughs> Looks like the driver just ain't gonna have no driver's license. Probably, this vehicle is probably gonna be traded for drugs, I'm sure. What, what usually happens is the owner will probably try to call his vehicle in stolen a little later, but he ain't, he's not gonna be able to do so, because once we impound it, they have to cross-reference cross it with the time. Just unfortunate that he wrecked into this gentleman's vehicle. Did a little damage to it. But, but on the up and up, sir. Well, hold on. Let me, let me advise. You, hold on. Let me advise you of your rights first. Uh, you didn't see nothing. Say nothing else. Okay. Okay. This your vehicle? Mine's well, before I say that, please, okay. sir. I haven't been in any. I'm putting this vehicle right here, sir. Well, you don't need to say nothing else right now, man. No, sir, but this is just so for me to you. This. Okay. Off the record, as y'all say. Well, nothing sir. is really off the record. Yes, That's why I said you don't sir. have to say nothing right now. I'll talk I to you in a little bit. Okay. But I haven't been in any. Um, just... You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be. Used you gotta do a lot of problem solving on this job. You gotta wear many different hats. You gotta try to be a counselor and, and try to counsel as fast as you can to, to solve the problem, to get on to your next counseling job. You know, try to defuse any kind of situation, whatever you're facing, as fast as you can to, to move on and try to help somebody else out. Going to a domestic disorder, a uh, female caller's calling in. Claiming they're arguing up here, and all of them are, seem to be drunk. Oh, yeah, that's going in. It's about 24 hours on schedule. Have on schedule. 24, you did advise in the alley at 45th and 46th east of Divine, is that correct? Did you call? Huh? Did you call? Actually, I did. What's going on? Uh, what's, uh, what's wrong with the back uh, of your head? Well, it's part of my hair that you pulled out. Who pulled her hair out? Him. He's in there passed out right now. Um, so your boyfriend? No. Used to be boyfriend? No. Um, I go to AA and okay. I relapsed. And he's at AA, buddy. And I came over there and he okay. was drinking vodka. And um, he got really out of control. And um, I, I didn't want to call my son because I knew how to react. Okay. And um, I went, there's an AA buddy right around the corner. He's passed out on the couch with her. And I told him, I go, if you let me go, I'm, I won't call the cops. And uh, he told me no. And um, look at this. I'm yeah, like, I mean, he, turn he, around, let me see. He beat that whole lot of me. He threw me on the, threw me on the floor and kicked hold, me Hold up. your head still so I can see, OK? You want him to go to jail? Yeah. OK. I used to have a Rottweiler. She says that it's no longer here. It's supposed to be a Rottweiler? Well, she said it's not here no more. Oh. I'm hoping she's not lying. Hey, Don. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you doing? Uh, Who you been arguing with tonight? Have me. Have you been arguing with somebody tonight? 
You haven't been fighting with nobody. Why don't you sit up for a minute? Talk to us. Can you sit up? Yeah. How are you? Um, this young lady out here says you pulled her hair out. What's going on with that? This young lady out here that you've been drinking with tonight. Who are you talking about? You haven't been arguing with nobody tonight? Has anybody been in your house? Nope. Nobody at all. Who are you talking about? Is that lady standing right there? Out there by the car? Yeah. You don't know her? She claims she's been in your house. Why the hell is she? Damn, she crazy as hell, man. What the hell are you talking about? You know her? Yeah. How do you know her? Huh? How do you know her? Because she comes up here and she comes up here and gets a drink and stuff like that. So she been drinking here tonight? Yeah. I'll take your phone with you, no matter. It's not charge domestic. Him pipe. Huh? Charge him with the pipe. What is that? Crack pipe. No. My pipe. Whose is it? Whose is it? Sit down. Sit down. Don't, don't start it. Sit down. No, I'm in my damn house. What are you talking about? We got called to your house. Take your hands, Apoc. Take your right. hands, Apoc. Turn around. Relax. Turn around. Well, wait a minute. I said turn her. What you talking about, you're in my f house? Turn around, man. man. What are you doing? Put your hands behind your back. For what? Because I told you to. Okay, 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 okay. Turn your arm around. Why do you want to act like that for? Why are you doing this? Sit up. Speak down. Can I call my neighbor over there? Does he have your ID? No. Hold up, why that? It ain't none of your business, boy, my God. Sit down. You can't go through my Hey! Hey, Jerry! Barbara! Jerry! Well, the guy with the yellow shorts up they had the party down. Oh, you in contact with 1176 and 8. Who the hell is that? I put all the cameras down. Climb the car. Put your feet in. What do you want? Move. Get back in there. Step, step in the car. Minutes. What? Step. Oh, you want it? You tell them the truth. Get my car. Oh, no. Listen to me. Get back in the you car. Tell me the truth. I want to know what the hell's going on. Get in. Damn it! I want to know what the hell's going on. Crazy. Can we follow you down to the jail? Yeah, might as well. I'll go down there with you. Atlantic 17, go ahead. Put your, foot down. Down. Put your foot down. Put your foot down. Is that your hair? Oh, yeah. I, he, he pulled out. My hair. And I love my hair. I think we found some more of it in the house. I'm pretty tired. This guy's just a nice guy helping out the local prostitutes, letting them come in here and take a bath and smoke crack and drink some beer with him. East side is uh, predominantly all working class. Every, almost everybody lives over here is hard working and uh, decent people. But you know, we've got the occasional few that have to uh, try to stretch the limits of the law and uh, that's when we have to go stepping in and put them back in line. 
We've got a van just went by us with no headlights on. We're going to see what this problem is. Oh, he just went right down to Sally. Let's see here. Let's go into it. 124. Going to be out right behind uh, Raul's on Grand 67 John Mary Queen. Copy. Twenty-four driver just bailed on me. Copy, Lincoln. On. I don't know. He's around here someplace. He just hit the fence. Ten four one twenty-nine. Oh. Eighteen a block away. Ten four four eighteen. Ten four. I think he's in here someplace. Eighteen, I'm gonna be on the west end of where he's at. Copy for eighteen west end. All cars for traffic for one twenty four in the east side. I think you just ran in here. Yeah. Front of the street. Yeah. If you don't want to log on, you can show me his handling. It's code 30, code 4, uh, there's no, uh, there's a 459. Code 1, do you have a code? 502, 124, you're out there. 364. Yeah. Okay, here. Walk right behind QT. Okay, he's just right behind the QT. The guy just ran up and told us. He's running behind the QT. Copy all you said. Cars responding. Subject ran behind the quick trip. 24, any description? White male, dark hair. That's all I saw. He took off. Copy, white male, dark hair. Hey, Tim. Gas that guy right there in the ball cap where he went. Which way I got him? He's in the code. He's where? Where's he at? Yeah, they got him here. Come on out of there. Bring yourself till you had a poop? Yeah, I went to the school. Bald guy? That's him. Five oh three, can you go to yeah. channel three? <laughs> I thought I checked it this spot. Ran it right out of him. Yep. He written. Oh. Are you done? I ain't run nowhere. Uh, hey, put your hands up there. You haven't been running? No. I haven't. <laughs> like your heart's going so fast. Oh, it's hell. You're shaking. You're taking water. Yeah. Yeah. 124. Yeah, we got him over here, just to the uh, south of Quick Trip. Copy. Can we resume traffic? Yes. Go ahead. Uh, I didn't drive. Come on. I walked over and used the bathroom. From where? From right there. Oh, from the Quick Trip? Yeah. What'd you do that for? Because I got away from him. From who? From the officer. You were running from him? I wasn't running from nobody. Oh. I was on my way home. Where do you live at? I'm homeless. Huh. I live down along the river. Speak with Wanda. Said someone kicked in her front door and then we lost contact. I'll give you a west side for a backup. You ever been arrested for OWI before? Yeah. How many times? I got my third offense the other day. He just got your third offense the other day. Yeah. What was he driving? Van. The white one? No, silver one right there. Oh. Copy. Take the pick. Oh, a real van. Yeah. Let's see if he hit that Jeep, will ya? I can do that. If you want to do that, I'll go over this. Okay. Center block, 28 Street. She lost the white male that, uh, 
What do you got in here? Mine? What else you got? Just lighter or something? Yeah. Okay. Have a seat. I've lost the bicycle over to about the uh, 2900 block of Kingman area. Oh, no, Augie, thanks. Okay. He uh, was coming down Grand without his headlights on. I saw you coming between me and him, but I didn't see him. I got down the road here, and the first thing I heard was going out back there. Well, he shot right behind here, jumped out. And I thought I, he was doing something, and I come walking up, and I don't see him. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I hear a chain link fence hit. So that's why I took off running. Well, he must have run through there and went out the chain link fence in the front. Yeah, he was just at the QT. Oh, was I he? I told him not to drive because I knew he was barred. So. Well, he pulled out of there with his headlights off. Yeah. Well, that's why that guy comes running down the side. Hey, if you're looking for that guy, he just ran behind a quick trip. Like, so she says he's ready for sentencing for uh, his third OWI. Yeah, he was in third. He's had like ten, five or six, I think. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, because we had to pick him up at uh, Broadlawns one time. He was there injured when we were working the wagon. And he was like, it was like a sixth or seven. Well, he said he's up for sentencing, so. Six or seven OWIs and the guy's still driving. That's classic.